guys and welcome to another video with me Olakara1 Today we're going to do the team of the year prediction Which is uh, very fun to do because team of the year is just around the corner and uh, I just wanted to do a team of the year prediction because it's fun and I would like to see how many Guesses I could get right when it's the team of the year ceremony for the Ballon d'Or on Monday So uh, let's move on guys so in goal we do have uh, the one and only the guy Manuel Neuer. I mean, uh, he has had a great year as always, and he just he, he hasn't so much to do in the goal for Bayern, Bayern Munich, but it doesn't matter because he's still very good. So right back we go with a guy that not many people believe is going to take it, but I do. It's Philip Lama. We're actually gonna go with his in form here. Right back card. So uh, we go with Philip Lam, who has been, in my opinion, very good as well. He's so, he's so, you know, he's always performing on the pitch, and uh, that is something you need to know when you take him. Next player, though, is going to be a player that has grown very much. It's Jerome Boateng. So uh, Jerome Boateng is very good, and he has had a great year as well. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. He's so good, so he deserves it, in my opinion. Next, though, is going to be... Well, I don't really know who I'm going with here, but I decided to go with Thiago Silva. I could have gone with Cialini or Ramos, but I think just Thiago Silva is one of the world's best centre-backs. Cialini has also been very good, so maybe I could have gone with him, but... Uh, Chaga Silva is just a tank. He's so good. Then we have the left back, and I've decided to go with Jordi Alba, not Alaba, because I believe that Alaba is a better player and deserves it more. But Jordi Alba just won the Champions League this year with Barcelona, or last year, but last season. So because of that, you. I'm going with Jordi Alba. Maybe they will put someone like Cellini or Ramos there, but I do believe uh, Alba can take it. So as we go into the midfielders, we're starting with the right one. And I have gone with... I don't didn't really know with picking the center midfielders, but uh, I've gone with Tony Cruz and I don't know if, if he will get it. Maybe Vidal will here, but... I decided to go with Cruz just because he was there last year and I don't see that he have to, has done so bad things really. So uh, he may be in the team of the year. I don't know honestly, but I thought he could have been. I'm not so good at predictions. So as we move on to the next one, we've got the talent, the one who Man United missed, the guy that they sold, it's Paul Pogba. Oh, I would have loved to see him at Man United any day, but I don't believe it's going to happen. Anyway, I don't really know with Pogba as well, because he has been am amazing. Amazing is just the small word for it. He has been so good last season, but this season he hasn't been so great. And you need to perform every day, everywhere, when you're going into the team of the year. But I think he has been too good to not be in the team of the year. Here he is, in my opinion. So next, next one, I think it's it is the most on, most clearful, or I don't know the word for it. Yeah, he should be in the team of the year, in my opinion. It's Andres Iniesta, and yeah, he's always performing. Like he, he how old is he? He's like 31, I think now. And he's always performing as he is the world's best midfielder. And in my opinion, he is one of the best. So he's he's co he's coming. I do believe. I would do believe. So now we're going to the strikers, and I think you all guys know who we're going with. We're starting off with a guy that I think is going to win the Ballon d'Or as well. It's Lionel Messi. And yeah, Lionel Messi has had a great year. Uh, many people say that Neymar deserves it, and I can believe I'm with him too. He has like grown best and he has done the best things in 2016, but I think he has got a little bit more to grow before he gets the Ballon d'Or and is up there with Messi and Ronaldo. So yeah, we uh, we got Ronaldo here as striker and I can't say so much about Messi and Ronaldo 
They both are like tanks, so I can't tell you more about it. And finally, we're going with the third nominee for the Ballon d'Or, Neymar. So, this is my team of the year prediction and uh, comment down below what you think about it. Do you have any team of the year prediction? You can comment down below as well and we will see how many guesses we get right. We'll see, we'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you guys for watching and bye!